what is going on everyone welcome back to another video yeah so today i'm going to be showing you how we install guide rails in the elevator shaft guide rails these are like uh, the railway lines where the elevator passes you see these are the metals so the elevator has to pass here these are the shoes this is the rail line of the elevator you understand this is the rail line of the elevator so they are called the guides so you can see them they are here we are still in the store yeah we haven't taken them to the shaft the process hasn't started and uh, this is one of the processes where I don't usually record because it needs hard work and I cannot be recording while other people are working so but today I'm going to try as much as I can to capture as much content as I can and explain where possible so you can see these are the different guides all these see yeah these are the holes where the bolts go you can see one side is finished and you can see the thickness so this is what the joint is so what we're going to start is we're going to come over here so these are the fissure plates these are the plates that we use for joining the guides see let me open that so these are the fissure plates this is how they come you see yeah it has eight bolts let me show you so those are the fissure plates that's how they come in the box so what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be removing half of the bolts here I attach them here you see that then we take this guide to the shaft you understand let me show you real quick so each of all these guides here I'm going to be putting fissure plates I leave four four holes out and then I get four bolts I attach here it is simple and some other thing I want to explain quickly so when we are installing the guides there are these small guide pieces that we start with from the bottom you can see this this one is short you see it is about 75 centimeters long or 750 millimeters so this piece is short it goes in the pit you see this one over here yeah this one goes to the bottom so this one will mark our first joint and then one of those guides with the fissure plate will come and sit on top of here and continues up you understand so this will be our first joint our first joint is here what we do you can see this surface here is flat you see that it is flat but when you observe these other guides here you can see this one over here it has a hole you see that hole so we regard this as a female guide you understand well as there are some some guides that have a protruding metal part you can see this so we take this side as a male so this one enters into this one here so this protruding part you can see it it will enter into the female to make the joint seamless to make the joint smooth you understand yeah it is a little bit complicated i'm explaining a little bit more but when you start doing it you will see how it is matching and it is going to be done real quick yeah the guides have two sides you can see this one has a hole this is the female side and this one has a protruding metal this is called the male the male side so since i've showed you this short piece of guide you can now start to understand that if this is our first joint from the bottom so you can start to see that this one is flat that means that the female part is going to be down and the male part is going to be up so the other part the other other guides so that will just come and sit you understand yeah it sounds a little bit complicated but it is really simple so i'm going to start removing bolts on these guides and 
we continue and we see it is simple let's get started with the work now we start off by removing the first four balls and we put them all together in one sack yeah like I'm going to show you it is an easy process let's start hmm. let's start like this remove these these ones that we are removing we shall add them when we have started joining the guides yeah it is really easy except when we start taking we shall need yeah, a little bit of energy yeah this is how we do it here back in uganda if you have any other way you do it in your country you can please share below and we see just like this it's not really difficult yeah i'm always the first on site my other colleagues haven't reported for work yet but that won't stop us from doing what we are doing okay so now you see this one this one is on the first stage as we are going to see so now let me do this real quick for all the other facial plates i'll see you yeah so now all the fisher plates are done i have removed half of the balls they are here so what is left is i have to attach this fisher plate to these first half pieces you can see these ones they are short see yeah let me do this real quick and we continue put this one over here set my camera yeah yeah so these are the first half pieces of the guides see this so i'm going to be attaching the first support the fisher plate like this you see this one i attach it like this so that when the other guide comes it sits on top of here you see that and this one will be going on to the other guide let me do this real quick just to show you this mm -hmm. you put oh. the bolts have to face behind you know why because in front here they are, will be moving parts so you have to create a gap for the moving parts you see just like this it's really easy so this will be our first joint from the pit so on top here is where the other guide will sit okay that's like that it's not so difficult yeah you can hear the noise in the background if you're interested in becoming an elevator repairman yeah this is the environment that you should be willing to work in Working in noisy places, sometimes dusty. Okay. Hmm. I'm about to finish this. Yeah, so this is what I'm going to do for the other guides as well. Just to prepare for mating. You see that? not so difficult so when my other colleagues come to work we shall just start mating and taking the guides to the shaft you see it's now done this is the joint you see so the first joint is done now this one will be at the ground so the other guide will sit on top of here you see these holes they will go here like that you see this joint here now that we have just made this is just a demonstration mm. so when we are in the pit we get a bolt we put inside here so we make this joint complete so now i'm going to be doing the same thing for the other pieces and i'll see you yeah. 
now all the beds are taken outside. You can see these ones here. We have already put the fish up there. Yeah. You see? Like I explained earlier. You see this like this. And all the guides up there. So we are now. <laughs> yeah. These are my colleagues. This one is Kato. This one is Pius. Yeah. So we are going to finish and take these ones in the shaft. The building is over there. You can see that side? Yeah, it is over there. That's where we are taking them. I will see you inside the shaft. Now time to try to take the shaft. That's how they go. Yeah. The site is over here. Yeah, that is the site. This one here. Now we are here at the shaft. This is the elevator shaft. So we have brought the gates up to here, up to the shaft. Yeah, we are going to be now entering them inside. So you can see there is a technician down there. And now these are the ropes that we are going to be using for pulling. It goes up and down. That's how we are going to be hoisting them up. You can follow. There are some other people up there. I'm sure you are following. That's how we are going to be hoisting the guide. So, let's get on with the work. Okay. Now the first guide is installed. This is the rope. So the other guide is going to sit here and go up. So this is the first guide. So you can see the technician is down there. Adding another guide. So we are going to pull. We put the one for the counterweight that side. And this side over here. So you can see I'm standing on the guide here. Don't worry, I'm safe. I'm having a safety belt and holding somewhere. Let's get on with the work. So now the first gate is done. You can see. So this is the first second joint. T2. The first joint is down in the pit. So the technician is over there. We're going to attach another gate. We come and we join on top here. The female part is here. So the male is going to come and mesh inside. I join using bolts here. You see? Yeah. So that is how it is going to be done until we reach all the way up to up. We have someone else in between there pulling with us. Yeah. I'll see you again once we are done. You see? Yeah, this side we haven't put yet, but we are going to do that. See you when we are done. Now after several hours, we are finished installing the guides, hoisting, so I am at the topmost floor, you can see all the guides are there, so you can see down, you see, so these are the joints I was talking about, you see how it works now, yeah, so this is it, that is how we do it, you can see the joints pretty well. The guides are joining properly now. The next process that is left is for alignment. Yeah, we are going to be aligning these guides so that the rail is smooth. Yeah, so if you made it this far, I appreciate you so much. Support the channel, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace.